All right, guys, here we go. Episode 41. This week, play against Georgia. We are both not doing so well in the SEC. <laughs> I mean, I'm averaging like 40 points a game and giving up about 30, so my defense is kind of lacking. Injury report, they have a right outside linebacker that's injured for nine weeks. Hopefully, we can take advantage of that. And then we'll go to top players. They have a running back and a quarterback and their kicker, who hasn't missed a field goal all year. But they haven't scored a lot. My top players, of course, heard Greer and Matthews. Matthews still not getting a lot of love. SEC East standings, Georgia's at the top. I'm right behind him, so this is pretty much for first place as long as I can win it. I got it locked up, hopefully. I mean, I still got to beat the other computer players because Tennessee was another user game, but he ended up leaving, so all I have left is computer games. So hopefully we can get, get something going on here. This is my first drive. I got the ball to start the game, and I'm still driving right here. <laughs> it's like three minutes later. Get a little screen pass because I was running the ball a lot. I still get hits a huge screen right here. Nice little 15-yard, 16-yard gain. Nice little play right there. I like it. Screen was working great this game. A couple plays later, third and goal. Couldn't get anything going on, man. Nothing was really working. Drop back in a pass. Quiet the crowd a little bit. I get in. Nobody's open. Nobody's open. Oh, there's X. He's wide open. Give me that touchdown, Matthews. There you go. There you go. I'll give you your touchdown eventually, man. <laughs> Four for six, two yards and a touchdown. So a little a little later, it's third and five. They're, they're driving down trying to score here. And they've been moving the ball pretty well. They do a little screen pass, and I fall absolutely for it. Slaughter comes up, hit stick, gets <laughs> flattened, ran over, hit stick. Not so, not so much. So I ended up settling for a field goal. Fourth and two, he'd bring it within four. And defense was stellar this game, man. Defense did really good, and I'm held them to, held them to a good game, a good game. Second goal after my series, I stalled. Nothing happened. Um, they do like a little read option and gets absolutely destroyed in the backfield. One of the few times their running back didn't bust off a big run. <laughs> I mean, he, he could he could bust the big ones, man. He, I think he was averaging like seven, eight yards a carry at least. So a couple of days later, third and goal. Um, going with a little pass play. And he breaks he breaks the sack. Oh, my gosh. Man, I'm playing at home. He breaks the sack. Luckily, Rice picks it off. Takes it out of, out of the end zone and gets about the same at the 25-yard line. And we forced our 20th turnover of the season. And that's like we're halfway done, man. We're forcing a lot of turnovers. Second and eight, drop back for a screen pass. This is right after that pick, and my gosh, dude, look at all that running room. But he gets run down. That speed threshold, man, makes a huge difference, apparently. The angle and the speed difference, 38-yard gain. Nice job by uh, Stucky right there. So third and two. We're just trying to run it up the middle right here, try to bust it in right before the half. And absolutely cut it back the other way because that dude broke off his tackle and gets stopped short of the goal line of the touchdown of the first down. So it's settled for a field goal. I mean, we've gone 97 yards and still can't get in right here. Just not very good. So we settle for the field goal, and we go up by seven. And they respond right back, man. They start driving the football really well. And hits the back out of the backfield for a nice little game. Third and two now. They got the light the fire skill active. Let's see if we can hold them. Hold them right here from not the first down. We'll give them another field goal, man. Run it to the left and tackle just short of the first down, man. Rice, Rice had a big game, man. My middle linebacker, he was doing pretty good. So they settle for another field goal right here before the half to be down by four. Four. So 10 to, 10 to 6 as long as they can make it. And yeah, the computer's got that. You notice that EA Tiburon? I haven't seen one of those logos in forever, man. I wonder what that's all about. But going into the half, our guys are excited. We got the lead. We're not moving the ball as well as I'd like. We only got 10 points. But we are almost even across the board. <laughs> I mean, my offense is doing a little better and I had the ball a little bit longer. But we're doing almost even. That one turnover was out there before the half. Trying to make something happen. And I didn't. So they get the ball start the second half. And they start off absolutely destroying the ball right here. Go a little screen pass, third and six. And Smith, last chance. Ooh, saved the day right there, fourth and three. They got to settle for another field goal on their first series of the second half. That's defense right there. Defense for sure, stepping up when I need them to be huge. Higgins already made a 40-yard field goal. He's going to make this one pretty easy. I mean, right down the middle to bring it within one. So they get the ball back. I think I threw a stupid interception in the, in the red zone. I thought I had the man deep through a jump ball. And you can't throw a jump ball in this game, or I've never figured it out. <laughs> so a couple of days later, now they, they throw off the sack again. My gosh, hits the back of the backfield. He absolutely runs over Dawson, and he goes huge big play right here, man. Miss a tackle. Luckily, we get him right there before he goes for the distance, because he very well could have. And here we go, third and seven. We've held him for a little bit. After that huge play, they got a little mo, bringing a little pressure. And drawbacks pass, and the guy's wide open on side, and got him. Got him short. Oh, <laughs> Get robbed, man. They say it's first and goal. So you know what that means. They're just going to 
pounded in right here and right up the middle untouched oh my gosh where was my defense at so they get their first offensive touchdown about the end of the third quarter <laughs> and but they go for two surprisingly they go for two they want to be up by seven and they got that little tight end in motion wolf i don't remember that guy's name that's for sure tight end tearing me up man and drop back to pass and got all the throw it throws it and fits it in a very tight window oh my gosh i don't know how that wasn't picked but it wasn't but we get the ball back and we march right back down the field, draw back the pass, and hit Carrington. Ooh, dangerous pass, dangerous pass. I think I think seven over there. I think it's Matt. No, that might be Matthews. Maybe that's uh, the other M guy. But miss it. Tackle just short of the first down, third and goal. Do my little my, my little toss play that I like. Get in the end zone. That's our second offensive touchdown. We haven't scored since the first drive. Offensively, like a touchdown-wise, to tie it back up. So into the fourth quarter here. Just running out the clock. They're not calling timeout, so I'm not calling timeout. Second and 10, running up the middle just to get a little bit closer here. My, my backup gets a nice little nine yard gain. Go for the field goal, third and one. Nice little chip shot right here, about a 30 yard field goal or so. Kick it, and it sticks and goes to the left, and I freaking miss it. I miss the chip shot field goal because it curves way left. Oh my gosh, dude, we're going to overtime. This is not what I expected. This is not what I wanted by any means. So their first series in overtime, hits a slant route across the middle. Huge gain. That's a little 15 yard reception. They're already first and goal. <laughs> so it's not going to take them long. Next play, uh, they get stopped for a little no gain play after that second. And I didn't know why I was Dawson. And I'm usually, I usually the lineman. So I use the right stick to swim move past people. And I dove on the ground like, a, like an idiot. So they get the easy touchdown there. So second and eight. Now that we got the ball, try to make something happen here. And I, I just dump it to Carrington because they were bringing the blitz. I didn't think anybody was open. And third and ten, man, we gotta have something happen here. Just that's for sure. Drop back to pass and hit B wide open. McBride touchdown. Yes, 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 yes. Finally, my gosh, finally had something happen on my end. So we get the ball right back. Second overtime, second goal. Running up the middle here, trying to make something happen. Stucky, no sir. Gets tackled for a one yard gain. We're in the middle of the field though. That's nice. Uh, take the take the false start penalty. The drop back to pass here and oh my gosh, did you see, you see X? X, I didn't see him, but X is so wide open for the touchdown. I throw it. Luckily, it wasn't picked, so I got to sell for a field goal. And he makes it this time. Makes it this time. Had I missed X, wide open for the touchdown. My gosh. So they got to at least kick a field goal to tie it again. It's second and 18 after sack. They do a screen pass. Marshall not falling for it this time. Not falling for it this time. So third and 23. Got to have a huge stop here for sure. <laughs> I mean, if they get inside the 30, they got the field goal no problem. Uh, Kirby drops back to pass, has all day to throw it, throws it, and Rice, oh, drops the pick, had it, and dropped it. Man, that would have sealed the deal for sure. So, fourth and 23, they have to get at least the first down right here. Get, drops back to pass, almost gets sacked, throws it up, and he catches it. The tight end out jumps the uh, two defenders on my team, and we lose on double overtime, 30-27. to 27. That is the third game this season that I've lost by three points. I don't know what the heck the deal is, man. I don't know what what's going on i'm getting beat by users cpu it doesn't matter we end up losing the game to georgia they have sole possession of the top and not really any, any games top of the sec not really any games around the country that are for for ranking not that it matters for me because i'm going to drop <laughs> i mean i had more i had more rushing yards surprisingly i had a little bit less passing yards i just had three turnovers stucky jackson players of the game tough loss again but we'll be right back with the advance all right, guys, just got done showing highlights from that game. My gosh, dude, I don't know what my deal is. I can't win on this dynasty, my offline dynasty. It's just not working out so well for me right now. I'm having a tough, tough time winning. But lost in double overtime to Georgia because I couldn't score a touchdown and they had a jump ball that they scored on. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody else in the dynasty did. Um, LSU ends up losing to the Italian Ole Miss 28-21. Arkansas suffers their first loss of the season, 41-17. Uh, Auburn ends up getting the win, 45-42 wins by three. Wow, close game, close game. Penn State ends up getting the win, 61-55 in overtime. At least one, I don't know for sure uh, what it is. Texas did not play this week. This is the second time in a row. So if he doesn't play this next week, then he will be dropped from the dynasty. Um, so hopefully he plays his game. Arizona ends up getting the win, 34-20. Tulsa wins 38-21. Mississippi State wins 42-32. to And it does say five restarts. Um, there's been something happening where I mean, I've had numerous reports from different people um, 
all over all over the place man um that they like whenever they exit the game it says there was a change in the dynasty and that it wouldn't it didn't save their game or something like that now like i said i've had that I've seen that a couple of times um last week the italian like something with his game um didn't come over right and he sent me a picture of it so it's one of those i don't know what the deal is ea is not really caring about this game i would assume because they're not making another one i don't know why they would would you know what i mean why put the time and effort into a game that you're not gonna get a touch ever again <laughs> but i don't know maybe they are maybe they're not they just haven't fixed the stupid things which is frustrating and that's why the five restarts it's all right this time he, he got the okay and he let me know so it's all good east carolina does got the bye week this week ucla got the win 35 28 and almost wins 28 21. so we're gonna do is we're gonna advance it and we'll be right back all right just got done with the advance and i have another bye week <laughs> luckily i can recuperate from that heartbreaking loss this week uh, so let's see what we happen yeah friday 13th not a good day for me i don't know if i'm going to do my next madden game because i'll probably lose again <laughs> probably lose again we'll see uh, see how everybody else did lsu is now number 11 uh, they play texas a&m this week arkansas dropped from number two to number 10 they have a bye week this week uh, auburn ends up playing um southern miss i'm pretty sure penn state is new now the number new the number two now the number two they play uh Illinois, Texas plays TCU, Arizona plays Oregon, Tulsa's got a bye week this week, Mississippi State plays Kentucky, East Carolina plays Mid-Tennessee State, UCLA plays Utah, and Ole Miss has a bye week this week. Man, that's for sure. Big, big changes, big changes. Top 25, a lot of bye weeks this week, and no user games. Let's see, Penn State moved from 3 to 2, Arizona moves from 15 to 6, golly. They're one of the few unbeaten teams left um, in the in the game. We've got, what, six, six unbeaten teams? Texas moves from number 10 to number 7. Like I said, Arkansas fell from 2 to 10. LSU fell from 8 to 11. Suffering their first loss. Wow. It's the first time they lost all season. See anybody else? Indiana's ranked. UCLA is now. Went from unranked to 21. Auburn went from unranked to 22. Mississippi State stayed at 24. And I fell out of the top 25. Um, how far back? I'm behind San Diego State. 27. Nice. Anybody else? Nobody else. Check the media. Ooh, we got BCS this week. Ole Miss, Penn State. Arizona, Texas, LSU. Arkansas, wow. They went from 1 to 11. Golly, they fell a long ways. Anybody else? UCLA, Mississippi State. BCS, the one that is very important right now. It is Ole Miss versus Penn State. That's how, that's how it's been a couple of years, man. Penn State potentially could play for the national championship and something something happens i think last year we had to simulate pass meeting and play this game and he ended up losing and didn't even play for the conference championship which is weird he only had one loss that's i guess that's the way it goes sometimes arizona's number six now um, texas lsu arkansas auburn ucla mississippi state a lot of people a lot of people in the in the oh this kate kansas state a lot of people in the in the running man for the bcs bowls and hopefully we can get more people in there man it's gonna be nice to see i know i'm not in there <laughs> uh, let's actually check the conference standings since we're bcs week this week see where everything's sitting um, let's just start at the top acc anybody there nobody in the acc american nobody's in the american big 12. texas is behind k-state for a conference championship big 10 Penn State's got that pretty much locked up. They're 3-0 in conference. I don't know if they played Ohio State yet. Ohio or Indiana. I think they, didn't they just beat Indiana. I think they beat Indiana. But they, those teams only have one loss each. Um, the other side, Nebraska. There's the only one you really got to worry about. Conference USA, Tulsa, and ECU. They, they've been every year, man. Every year <laughs> playing for a conference championship. And that's what it's looking like again as of right now. I think ECU has to worry about Marshall later, 3 0 in conference. Independence, nobody's there. Mac, nobody's there. Mountain West, nobody's there. Pac 12. Arizona and UCLA. Are they both in the same division? They're both in the same division. Oh, man. Right now, Arizona has a lead. They have not lost in conference so as long as they don't lose. Um, they're pretty, pretty much a shoe in. Do they play each other? Yes, they do. 
a uh, couple more weeks from now, they'll play each other. And that should decide who plays for the conference championship. That's going to be an interesting week. SEC, wow. <laughs> Ole Miss, Arkansas, LSU. I mean, everybody's sitting pretty good. Georgia has the one up on me because they beat me. They're 4-0 in the division. Wow. Out of the seven teams. So they pretty much have it locked up. They only won in the division. They lost two other games. Man. They have it pretty much locked up for the, for our side, for my side. Um, the West, Ole Miss, hasn't lost yet. I know they still have to play Arkansas and Mississippi State. I think they played Auburn and LSU. So they still have at least two more user games left to decide what's going on there. Sunbelt, nobody's there. All right, so pretty good, pretty good conference. Looking, looking all right, man. Has been watched, see what's going on there. And Ole Miss has a guy up there. Davis, UCLA. Pluto, Zach Pluto, <laughs> freshman speed guy. He's up on the list now. Arkansas is running back. He is up there. Uh, we got three users. Not too bad. Not too bad. Frazier, who is actually Mantel, is still up there. So we're looking, we're looking all right. I got another bye week this week, so I'll figure something out for for the game part. But that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.